hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here this is a tarot card reading for the sign of cancer sun moon rising and venus welcome in cancer let's see what we have here for you we're going to look at what's coming up for you cancerians by the way happy happy birthday to you all cancerians may you have a beautiful birthday period here may blessings shower you continuously Thank you so much. All right, let's look at what's coming up for you in the future, just within a seven day period, what you're leaving behind and what you're currently feeling. So shuffling the playing cards, we have your past energy, which is something ended with the 10 of swords, could be a relationship, something that was causing you pain and hurt and um, not feeling good feeling stabbed in the heart, betrayed numerous times, maybe led down the wrong path to um, something that felt like it was your demise. I feel like someone was watching you, spying on you, governing over you, wanting to control possibly your destiny here with the four of, sorry, with the ace of pentacles card and the ace of wands. I feel like maybe there was a, a there was something going on concerning your money and your new beginning when it comes to your prosperity, your job, your relationships. So someone was maybe, um, I feel some of you were feeling trapped in the past, wanting to escape. Things were being delayed for you. Maybe it's because of this presence here that's watching over you, continuously watching you with the jack of the jack of swords here this person could have been a law enforcement person or someone just sit here just here in your life watching you observing all that you do and they see that you're magnificent and abundant very creative and intuitive but somehow you were bound or stuck one place within an energy of torment betrayal like stuck in a past energy for some of you, this is saying it's time for newness to come through, for you to allow this newness. As I was saying, this energy could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person that is ever watching you, possibly um, causing a delay in your success. That was your past energy. For some of you, you're still going through that. Your future energy I'm feeling is the Eight of Pentacles, Cancerian, and the King of Hearts. This is your energy. I feel some of you are working, working on yourself, learning how to love yourself, learning how to be there for yourself, learning how to stand up, learning how to make things happen for yourself. You know, putting in the work, being confident, putting yourself out there, being emotionally grounded and stable, expecting the best expecting the best here some of you are working toward your financial stability and this is your future we're gonna pack these up cancer and get some messages now from the tarot cards I want to say thank you to Cancerians because my channel is growing it's over 300 subscribers and I know I've been getting support from Cancerians so I want to thank you so much for that. So if you're a new Cancerian, welcome in. If you're a Cancerian that has already subscribed to my channel, much love to you, much appreciation. Thank you for being here. And may we continue on this journey together, Cancerian. So some of you are working, but things, oh, Wheel of Fortune, oh my gosh. Some of you are working, things are coming up, are turning in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune energy, Cancerian. Um, it's taking its time though, we have the devil energy popping out as if wanting so badly to show itself in your reading. Like, poop, I have to come out in Cancer's reading. Eh? Like this energy, this this it could have been the same energy of the jack of swords that's just continuously showing up in your readings wanting to be present in your life it's i mean i feel like clarifying it with clarifying it with the devil energy earth energy can um capricorn taurus or virgo here so that could be the energy also that's 
consistently watching your blessings watching your fortune watching what's coming into you just really observing you i feel like even in your mental space they are able they're able to get into or oh, maybe try to predict what it is that you're about to do it's as if they see your fame because i see fame here fame fortune and success and then this energy pops out as if don't forget to add me. It feels so for, forthright. They feel entitled, I feel, to your success. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which could mean that some Cancerians are single. Some of you are living with your family. Some are single, working on their own, being independent, um, bringing in that money, being independent inside and out when it comes to your value, your self-worth, the things that you want for yourself, not tolerating less than you deserve. This is Goku energy, Cancerian, powering up inside out, Kamehame energy, reaching, grabbing for that energy source within yourself depending upon your own energy here cancer and this is beautiful some of you this is a the other person's energy which is the earth sign taurus virgo capricorn um and they are the one that's single here i feel if it is in their case they're not looking so good because i would pair pair their energy with the devil card and i'm feeling um that this person feels exposed or put on blast because you know when you're standing out too much that's the energy as if things about you are being exposed here with the devil energy and the nine of pentacles card you're you're, st you're something is being put the raw the raw truth is coming out it cannot be hidden and that's what we're we're, we're getting here even with the two of the two of swords card something is coming out to light with this person but your blessings and your fortune are here they are here but this person just jumped out wanting to be a part of your reading this energy it, i didn't ask for it you know you know that you know that feeling when you're going somewhere and then a person volunteers themselves or invites themselves because they feel entitled to, to something that you have they feel like they can't they have to string along with you that's the energy this person could be afraid of separating from you this could be a relationship that you're dealing with here some um, negative attachments it, it doesn't even have to be a relationship cancer and it can be um it can be something even within your own self that you're dealing with attachments but this feels like a person with the energy that it came out with Okay, let's continue. We're going to clarify the devil energy. I feel it is in your past. Let's clarify the devil energy. Angel, spirit, and guides. Help me to clarify what is the devil card. The devil and the chariot card. Both of them came in the reverse. So, angel, spirit, and guides. What is the devil and the chariot card in the reverse? So, we have the ace of wands. Devil Chariot, Ace of Wands. Oh. So the thing is, I don't normally read reversals, Cancer. I take them upright. I take the cards upright while considering them in the reversal. So um, for me, the Chariot card is beautiful. Honestly, I feel the Chariot card is abundance, joy, and success. I feel like this is saying fortune after you, some fortune blessings coming after you after you went through a difficult time and I, I, I feel like this could be justice or balance brought forward because of a situation that you're being dealt unfairly with I feel like you're, you're heavily rewarded like your blessings are coming through I feel like your angels are 100% standing by your side guiding you possibly protecting you defending you from this energy because when the devil energy came out, the two of swords came out along with it, you know, as if your ninjas are ready, waiting in the dark for anything that's lurking, wanting to come at you. Your angels are here to protect you. 
So it, 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 the two of the two of swords came out with that devil card to to put it in its place in the past energy here to say, stay where you are, you know. Cancer is on their way. You stay where you are. The angels are here. Um, this feels like Archangel to me. Michael presence here, abundance, the angels of abundance and joy, prosperity, success. This for me is also strong water energy and earth. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy in here. Heavy Cancer, heavy Pisces, strong Taurus energy as well. So this is abundance flow flowing into you. Cancerian, I feel it came because you did went through you did go through a sticky situation in the past a past connection here But um, I feel like the, the justice energy. I'm feeling justice energy, which is saying This shall be no more and all your blessings are about to come into you Do you see that the ace of wands to speaks of new beginnings in businesses? So some of you are being of service wanting to start a new business. You've been gifted with the um, you, you have a gift of coming up with great ideas great wonderful ideas in business You know great business ideas to start you've been blessed with um just being very imaginative and creative that's the energy so you have a lot you are very abundant very very abundant because that's the energy you're very creative you know you that you have a lot to come into you it's uh, it's owed to you because i feel too concerned that you have been doing a lot of work but with the there was an entanglement in your past that wants to continue to interfere i feel like this energy does not want to leave you alone it's that energy where this person wants to walk behind you no matter what street you take they're going to be following you <clears throat> now this could be like stalker energy too Stalker energy. Stalker energy. But you're going to get your reward. Something, a new beginning is going to come through for you. I'm happy that your angels are here guiding you, blessing you on this journey. So this is definitely past energy. Let's continue to clarify. We're clarifying the two of swords. We're wanting to see what's defending you or what the two of swords is here that came out along with the devil card. Angel spirits, guys, help me to get clarification for the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords energy in Cancerian is reading for their next seven days ahead. So that's what I'm seeing. Maybe within your seven days, maybe someone from the past wants to come back. This connection, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe wanting to come back with an offer, offer you a new beginning, offer you abundance and joy. But you're, I feel like there's something here with the Two of Swords energy that's saying no as if it's saying you trust your trust in your intuition the six of cups energy is here i feel it's saying uh this person could be coming back from your past maybe wanting to reconcile trust your intuition maybe it's saying move for move forward move on you know it's uh, as if it is willing you to disconnect from past energies and see what what's coming up for you in the future as if you it's saying you have a lot to receive in the future so move forward stop holding on to this fast connection cancerian with the seven so you're maybe waiting you're waiting watching hoping to see Maybe some of you are wanting Cancerian to reconnect with the past like you think of this person. Waiting for them to come through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Hmm. Seven to eight, working on your pentacles. Someone wants to come into you with an offer. And maybe this is a financial offer. Maybe this person is working on money or working, waiting on something so that they can come into you and make an offer. And maybe that's what you're being protected from. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Now 
we have the Ten of Pentacles, Cancer. Okay, then. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. So we have Seven, Eight. Nine, we saw nine of pentacles. Well, nine of pentacles is actually on the bottom of the deck right now. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten of pentacles. <laughs> okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten of pentacles. What's going on? Abundance. Like, this is beautiful. I feel like you've been working on some money. This could either be you or your past person wanting to come in and gift you with this new beginning of abundance. Maybe they're coming in slowly. But I, I'm th I feel like it is saying keep your distance, keep your connection. Maybe this person does want to come in and offer you some new beginning, some money or something that they're waiting on, Cancer. But uh, there's just I feel like there's this caution warning here with the Two of Swords. But even in clarifying the Two of Swords, it's telling me about the past energy, about this Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's working, waiting on some money so that they can have a new beginning. Um, because the Pentacles energy is abundance here, money, finances, and pairing it, pairing all of these Pentacle energies with the Wheel of Fortune is so beautiful. Like financial blessings coming into you within your next seven days. Um so be i don't know just 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 be vigilant trust your intuition about the situation and just speak up say what it is that you have to say and also be willing to receive be willing to receive here all right let's clarify the wheel of fortune energy what's the wheel of fortune energy angels first thanks you help me to clarify the Wheel of Fortune in Cancer's reading. Cancer's reading Wheel of Fortune energy. What is this Wheel of Fortune telling us about Cancer's? I'm just coming up for Cancer. What is Cancer's season? What are these blessings? Okay. We have a lover's card. I I saw the nine of cups wanting to come out. So I feel the wheel of fortune could be blessing, realigning, attuning, aligning with a, a higher sense of self, your divinity, your power, your true wealth, your prosperity, your abundance. I, that's the energy I'm getting. When I was clarifying the two of swords, all that was coming out here within the pentacle cards were also giving me um, a feeling that they're related to the wheel of fortune card. So I feel like this is saying it's clear, cut and dry. The Wheel of Fortune here is telling us about financial fortunes and prosperities coming into you. And it's going to come by way of an offering. Um, you may want to block this connection here. may not want to hear from speak to this connection. But they want to come in. They're showing up here as the devil energy. So maybe they're going to be a bit manipulative. Maybe they're, you just trust your intuition. Trust in your intuition and do what it is that you have to do. But this is, as I said, it's fortune. Like it's fortune after having a difficult situation. The justice, justice might wait, you know. As I want to say justice, but justice energy is not here. But I feel like it's due unto you. It's due unto you. So be careful about not receiving this. And be careful about what, what you tolerate in order to receive it. Cancer. That's the energy I'm getting. It's your birthday also. So yes, receive well. This energy, I just want to say be mindful of it. It is up here in this corner. So it's not really affecting all of your abundance here. And and still this energy could be what's pulling in all of your abundance. But just be mindful. Trust in your intuition. Remember in the beginning with the playing cards, we had the Ace of Wands, which is repeated here. And we had the Ace of Pentacles, which is another Pentacles card, suggesting maybe you're getting an inheritance or abundance, a new job, uh, a raise, a promotion, something that's going to increase your abundance. That's an offering. Maybe someone sees work that you're doing and wants to come in and offer you some some new some new stream of abundance coming in.
the past energy is still present within you the hurt and the pain and you're about to clear that out i feel like that's why you're still attracting this devil energy from the past cancer like you still think of this person maybe because they still think of you with the lovers card here i think this could have been a twin flame soulmate connection but it was maybe karmic 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 a really a relationship that would um even though it caused a lot of pain and strife and it was maybe soulmate to inflame there were lessons to learn but i feel like there are blessings that are coming out of it for you or for both of you here maybe learning how to let go how to start over with the ace of wands coming up new beginnings oh the ace of hearts learning how to start over learning um where to find love we have the ten of pentacles re repeating itself learning how to start over how to release i feel clear out negative thoughts and energies here so that you can receive better feeling thoughts cancerians but overall your reading is so beautiful a beautiful amount of pentacles energy within your seven days ahead so imagine what the next seven days will be when we do that further into the month of july get ready to receive it's maybe coming from a place of love this person with this devil energy could really be afraid to approach you who knows what's going on as i said trust in your intuition okay cancer so this is your seven day reading we're going to leave it here look forward to the next seven days by subscribing to my channel so you are notified when i upload that video like this video share it with those that you love and care about so that they, they get this message as well thank you so much for your support other ways to support my channel cancer and if you're interested in that can be found in the description box below we're talking about shopping um merch zodiac merch or things like that that you're interested in you can find in the description box crystal jewelries and all those beautiful spiritual things um so thank you so much for being here blessed happy birthday to you remember we did wish for blessings in the beginning of the reading and it's all here so be ready to receive that much love remember cancerian that you are all and all is within you and i'll see you in the next video bye